Hi everyone, welcome back to Rise of Flight. Here we are with the career of Alfie West, the criminal who has joined number four squadron and uh, is trying to A, stay away from the police back at home, but B, make a name for himself and make amends for some of the wrongdoings he's done in the past. We're here on April the 3rd, 1917. Weather report, light, cirrus and scattered cloud. Wind at ground level, north, northeast, two meters per second. Designated pilots for this uh, patrol. It's a balloon attack, by the way. I didn't mention that, but I should have. Um, leader, Joseph Armstrong. Wingman 1 is Andrew Burton. Wingman 2, Joseph Dixon. And ourselves, Alfie West, as wingman number 3. Primary objective. Follow your assigned route and destroy the enemy observation balloons marked on your map. Our infantry have been taking a beating. It must be brought down. Take off at 13.13. Gentlemen, proceed to your planes. So, those of you who saw the previous episode would, would see that we got injured and uh, we have spent a few days recuperating, uh, but we're now being passed fit to fly, so we've been stuck on a balloon attack. Wonderful. Um, we could take our rockets out again. Last time it went okay. It does slow the aircraft down, which put us at a distinct disadvantage with against the albatross as we were dogfighting. Um... But then I quite like the rockets. We'll chance it. We'll chance it one more time with the rockets. Um, they're pretty good. If you get a good shot on them, they take the balloon down in one. So that's awesome. So let's head to the aircraft with the high explosive rockets attached. Okay, here we are. Let's um, crack the throttle a little bit, get the engine warmed up. While that goes through its sequence, we'll um, just do a quick... Um, Control surface check. All appears to be okay. Lovely, right? I think we're all good. Um, I do seem to have a town in my way, so uh, I hope we're taking off pretty sharpish. Because there are some buildings just in front of us. Oh yeah, look, the, we, it's quite a str strong breeze, so we're going straight up. It's not a problem. Get the gun cocked so we don't forget later. Right, full power, nose forward a touch. Get that tail up. Oh yeah, we're actually, we're not as close to the town as I thought. Past the hangars. And we're up. A couple of windmills. Small little village, in fact. Maybe a little farming community, because there doesn't seem to be a church there, so that's a bit odd. Anyway, no. it's not really... Um, of interest. We're going to form up then and start heading to target. No one else, I believe, has taken up rockets, so um, I might have to cut a corner to actually stay with them, because I'll be quite slow with the uh, the rockets strapped to the wings. So I'll cut this corner, try and join up with them, and we'll start making our way to the, the front lines where the observation balloons have been spotted. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're coming up to the front lines as you can see down here. We've got observation balloons galore. We've got aircraft dancing in the skies in front. As always, we are running slow and heavy compared to our compatriots or our flight. So, um, they're ahead of us. It almost feels like they're escorting us now. They're running some sort of, what have we got, albatrosses in there by the looks of it. Okay, there's that dogfight. It's really hotting up now. Oh, hello! Is 
No, you don't. No, you don't, Sunshine. Where you got? Where you got? Where you got? You're down there somewhere. I can hear you. There you are. Oh my god, I got three of them! How did I get so lucky? Uh, we can move a bit of bother here. We were obviously slow because of the rockets, and now we got three albatrosses on our tail. This does not bode for a happy ending. Can't get the nose in front. Oh, I've got slightly turned around then. There he is. Uh, that's full throttle. That doesn't sound very good. Right. Very sporting of them, giving me a little bit of a moment while I was sorting out my um, slight engine testing and stuff like that. Here we go, here we go. You coming in, boy? I'm coming on my tail in a second. Engine slightly knacked. Okay, so we got some allied uh, fighters coming in to help us out here, which could be um, a blessing, could be an absolute nightmare, because they might actually just ram us. You know how um, excited they get. They can be a little bit zealous sometimes. I've lost them all. Where are they all gone? They've gone low, have they? Ah, oh, they've gone low. Okay, we've got two fighters on one albatross there, which is good. Quick check of the aircraft. Have we taken much damage? No, not really. Well, possibly to the engine, because it doesn't seem to be performing. Right, while they're faffing about, perhaps we make a run onto one of the, uh, the balloons. That sound good? I hope that's one of ours. Actually, it beats me. We've got all these Akak guns around here. Why aren't we using them to shoot down the balloons? Rather than sending little old me and my... my 2cc sort with pup with some rockets, which are making it even slower. Uh, there's a bit of a... One aircraft over there, right, okay. We are so slow. That that is oh yeah, our RPMs are dropping. That is maximum we've got ten uh Yeah, this isn't good. Right then. Observation balloons over here. 
That's oh, that is an aircraft, is it? No, just Akak. Okay. Right. We'll try and get there. <laughs> We're so slow. We are a sitting duck. We're getting some speed now. Oh, we've got some ground fire coming in. Hold your, hold your line, hold your line. Fire! Bugger! Oh no! It gets worse! RPMs are down to about nine and a half thousand. Oh my god! And we've got albatrosses. Oh. We're gonna have to go low. Get some speed. Get across the line. Uh oh. Hello boys, where are you? Where's the rest of the flight? I need you. I really need you right now. Uh, engine spluttering. Uh oh. Good, we got some ground fire coming up. Lay it on them, boys. Lay it on them. Lay it on them. Oh, God. Keep firing. Keep firing, boys. I need your help. Keep firing. Got him. Oh, good shot, boys. Well done. Uh, our engine's down to eight and a bit thousand RPM. We're just about going to make it over the front lines. Another one coming in. Get him. Get him. Oh, that is a bad manoeuvre. I wouldn't have done that. Oof. Woo -hoo. Okay, a manoeuvre kill. And um, our engine's about to die. Oh, who's that? Please be friendly. Uh, no, there's another nasty. He's got a he's got a friendly on a tail though. That's good. That's good. Uh oh. Crikey Moses. Oh, got him. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. Right, let's um, let's see how far into uh, friendly territory we're over the front line, which is the important thing. And um, we've got up to, ooh, up to nine thousand RPM again. Engines picked up a bit. You are friendly, aren't you? No! Oh my goodness! It was the it was the Allied bomb uh, Allied fighter that got shot down. Oh crap! Don't you try and ram me! Well, he's not coming out from that, is he? Yes, he is. Okay. Uh, I've got no no speed whatsoever, but he's he's damaged as well. It's like a fight between two tortoises with three legs each. So slow, I can't get the nose in front of the aircraft. Right. Oh my god, we're about to stall. How tight can I make this turn? 
There he is again. Ah, I can't. I just can't get any lead on him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're about to stall. We're about to stall. We're about to stall. I need to loosen that up. Lowest, most unexciting dogfight ever. However, it's quite near right. I'm so close to stalling right now. I'm so loud. The shadow goes past. Is that ground fire? Come on, some ground fire. Yeah, I can't get, I can't get near him. Oh, he's turning into me. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ugh. We we're dead, 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 we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. We're badly injured. Well. Um, back to chatting up the nurses, it would seem. We've had a bit of a bit of a. You can see the oil all over my goggles, as well as a bit of blood on the edges. So um, we are alive. We we were at low we're low air um, low air speed, and we just stalled. Um, yeah. Okay. V for victory. Amazingly, we managed to get the victory out of that. Unbelievable. Uh, after 22 minutes, 25 seconds, Alfie West. Crashed, but was injured. Didn't get any credit. We hit nothing, it would seem. Um, the aircraft did not take any damage. So it's efficient damage enough to uh, be classed as our kill. Even though that maneuver maneuvers kill, we weren't awarded that. And of course our rockets were a little bit astray of the, uh, the balloon. So we did not end up destroying that. Joseph Armstrong. Um, he was still flying. He had no credits to his name either. Andrew Burton sadly crashed and died. No credits to his name. Joseph Dixon, however, was still flying and he'd shot down an enemy aircraft. Well done, Joseph. Well done. So, back to the hospital for us. Good old Alfie West. He's obviously found... Uh, he likes spending a little time in here, recuperating with the nurses and um, yeah, chatting, having having some medicinal, medicinal drinks as well. Um, yeah, for the pain and the wounds and stuff. Yeah. A bit of a brandy or something like that. Very nice indeed. Tucked up getting some uh, much needed recuperation in there. Joseph Dixon shot down Niles Schneider in his Albatross D3. Good stuff. And uh, obviously confirmation Andrew Burton was killed in action. Okay, a little bit of squadron news. Uh, the squadron has re received some reinforcement aircraft. We well, they've sent us one new Sopwith Pup after the one I absolutely wrecked. Um, and we've also had some squadron reinforcements. So the following personnel were added to the squadron. Sergeant Sebastian Jones. Hello, Sebastian. Good to see you again. Uh, second Lieutenant Herbert Hunter. Lieutenant Jake Morrison. Second Lieutenant Ellis Webb. Of rugby fame, maybe? I don't know. And second Lieutenant Leon Watson have all joined the squadron. Welcome, boys. Welcome. The latest news. Fresh mail was delivered to the squadron. Great. Obviously, we're going to have several days in um, recuperation now, but we'll have a look, quick look at the uh, the World Times on April the 9th, 1917. Uh, Germany retreats on the Western Front. And we've got the Aces as well. Uh, it's the end of the Berlin Exchange as well. Um, yeah, we're not on there yet, are we? I don't know how many kills. We haven't got that many kills. Um... Wow, look at that. Some <laughs> I was going to say, there's Germany, 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 but no, there's actually a couple of um, allied um, aces up there. Actually, no, there's quite a few. Obviously, predominantly German. Oh, we've got some KIAs as well. Ooh. 
Good stuff. Okay, coming into our personal room as we are healing and recuperating, we can see um, our two uh, albatross kills that we've been awarded with. Um, in the global statistics, we are 19,446th. And we've got our um, cross de guerre with the um, bronze palm as well. Having a look in the old squadron room. Uh, we can see we are still top of the pops with two aircraft kills and three balloon kills. Um, and we still keep our 100% um, sortie record. Four out of four. Even though we, we didn't really contribute much to the last sortie. Um, everyone else, uh, yeah, it's, as I say, it's a new squadron. So it's fairly, fairly inexperienced. Um, both in terms of flight time, kills and, uh, and rewards as well. So yeah, yeah, not very good so far. Lots to improve upon. In number four, Naval Squadron Achievements, we're 342nd, and we have 18 Sopwith Pups um, ready fit for flying. So that's all good news. As I say, missions, we won't be on the mission ro roster for a, a little while yet because, obviously, of our injury. So we'll probably leave it there until we, um, we're we fit to go again. It's going to be a short one, I know. I apologise, but um, uh, <laughs> these are sometimes how the... the uh, the cards fall and we're just going to have to go with it. So uh, I hope the, the short video and the thumbnail doesn't worry anyone prematurely before they watch the video. But uh, hopefully you can see that we survived. We're in the hospital recuperating and we'll be able to go again. Um, but for now, I'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.